<laughs> Man, am I tired of this negative nonsense. But when you're surrounded by enemies, there is bound to be some bad with the good. And in many cases, the negative tends to overwhelm the positive. You know, I spent a few hours earlier researching a video on pollutants and fish, as I do every Tuesday, because I do whiteboard educational videos every Wednesday. And I usually try to do one or two more educational videos, you know, one talking, one with some B-roll, to add to everything I've done to help improve people's health. And before I finished the script, I stopped. I, I just thought to myself, what's the point? And the same thing happened last week, except I held back doing this last week. I wanted to give it another week, try to be optimistic, yet I had the same feelings again. And it's because this clown, Paul Saladino, literally rips everything off the second after I say it without repercussion. Just this past week, I mentioned he copied Tucker Goodrich's hypothesis on linoleic acid, and no less than several days later, he has Tucker Goodrich on his podcast, Tucker sucking his tiny little you-know-what. I also reached out to Nora Gagoutis over a year ago, she declined my invitation, yet the second I mention her name in a video, he has her on his channel as well. And this scumbag even had his butt buddy collude with him in the lawsuit against me. Collusion is an illegal cooperation in order to cheat or deceive others. Dylan Randolph testified against me in his court case, claiming he was a client of mine in California. But in reality, he's Saladino's bitch boy. He works for him. Paul even thanked Dylan in his book because the poor guy probably wrote the whole damn thing for him. Lane Norton, who's another uh, good little cuck boy, did an entire blog on Rat Boy's appearance on the Joe Rogan podcast. And there wasn't one mention of the plagiarism. Not once. I keep asking myself, how in God's name whoever's name, is this guy able to get away with this? But I know the answer. I just still can't believe it. He's a member of the global elite, and I'm not going to point out specifics, secret societies, and explain that stuff, but the guy is wearing a t-shirt with a triangle on it that has 33 squares. The symbolism is there. All of these people are in the club, and I'm not, and nor will I ever be or want to be. So under no circumstance will these people defend me, side with me, even mention my name. He gets on the Joe Rogan podcast, plagiarizes me over 50 times. Then over the next two weeks on his YouTube channel, he continues his plagiarism by listening to my suggestions in that video. If I make a video on pollutants and fish, if I continue this educational stuff, he's probably going to have one of his semen expert buddies on his podcast next week going over the exact same information, claiming it was his ideas, his thinking. He even has the nerve to complain about people criticizing his ideas, which in reality are my ideas. Of course, Paul isn't the only person to steal tidbits here and there from my channel. You know, some of these other carnivore dieters have copied video topics, even complete themes and scripts for the video, just never so blatantly and consistently. They might take a, you know, a fraction of a percentage of my content for their own benefit, but everything that comes out of Saladino's mouth, and there sure is a lot, is something I've already said that he's ripped directly from my channel. And this puts me in a horrible position. I said at the beginning of this video, I'm tired of this negative nonsense. I don't want to sit here and talk about this stuff. You know, one big aspect of my channel, the health educational videos, you know, which I've been doing two or three per week of for years, is basically being held hostage by this goon. You know, what am I supposed to do? Do I try to reach out to other influencers and pay someone, maybe they'll stick up for me and defend me, calling out this quack? Because until this guy gets buried like he deserves, I'm basically doing his work. He's going to take my ideas, my research, my hypothesis, find one of his crooked connection buddies, 
have a conversation with them and pretend it's his idea. And he's done this dozens of times already and he will do it dozens of times over again. If not from me, from someone else. And that does bring up a good point, except I don't like being the one being copied. On the other hand, I've already given away so many creative, unique ideas. You know, no one else has really pieced together a lot of the nutrition puzzle as well as I have. Uh, so he probably has years and years of content anyway, even if I stop making videos. Uh, that rotten apple with his connections has made his buddies millions and millions and millions of dollars off of my ideas. And they're such complete degenerates that not one of them has ever credited where they received their information from. They just pass it off as their own stuff. Unless they're in the club together, then they have no problem jerking each other's tiny peepees off. And uh, for any of you wondering why this is important, it's because if I had this exposure, this funding, these connections, I would be providing people with high quality food and nutrition as opposed to snake oil supplements. And we've been doing that on Frankie's Free Range Meat, just not as well as I envision it. Uh, you know, the money these people make goes to their million dollar mansions. You know, I've put everything I've earned back into my goal of improving people's health. Something has to happen. You know, I'm not going to let these pricks grift off of me anymore. And if I pointed out everyone else, I would just be giving them more publicity that they don't deserve. Now, the reason I figured out these people were all in bed together was because, you know, why is everyone against me, both the vegans and carnivores? This doesn't make any sense. Why is everyone okay with talking negative about Frank Tefano, but when the biggest hole ever to blow open the carnivore diet opens up, you know, why didn't any of the vegans call out this quack doctor for plagiarizing me? You know, to make fun of both of us. It doesn't make any sense. And what does make sense is they're all in bed together. They are part of the elite, low level, but they're still part of it. And you know when people refer to the 1%, the rich, everyone pretty much despises them or they're jealous of them. You know, these elites network using their clubs, secret societies, sharing ideas and opportunities with each other, probably ones they stole from other people, and only with each other. You know, someone else comes along with a great idea, they don't include them, they steal the idea, slap their own label on it, and use their crooked connections to make money for themselves. We did a video on native deodorant a few months back, and that's a great example of a company doing what I'm trying to do with Frankie's Naturals, except they're selling dog crap products that are making people sick. I just shouldn't have to make a video like this. You know, a video explaining the blatantly obvious. I feel like I have to just summarize things over and over again because, you know, nothing happens. And that's probably because this guy just has so many connections to censor his comment section and promote himself. I'm probably just wasting my time again. You know, there's more valuable information on my channel pertaining to health and nutrition on the correct path, you know, than the majority of people on YouTube. They're, they're few and far between. You know, Dr. Berg might be one of them, although there's a whole bunch of things to talk about there, but there's only a handful of people on this platform that have put in the work, time, and research to actually help people while asking for nothing in return. And, and to be fair, I'm also the only person over 25 with an intact hairline, so I'm, I'm probably doing something better than everyone else. What I can't wrap my head around is why do I have to do this? Why is no one else able to give you clear, concise, straight answers on nutrition. You know, why do I have to be the guy to explain to people that, hey, you know, most seafood is not safe, but you can do this, and then, and then back it up. You know, I feel as if every educational video I do is serving a purpose in a sense that, you know, no one else has figured that part out yet. And, and now that I'm uncomfortable sharing that information, I feel like, you know, I'm, I'm stepping down and, and there's no one else to take my place. You know, if, guys, if someone else was doing this, I wouldn't be doing it. You know, that's why people like Rat Boy, it's, it's kind of weird. Like, he's just repeating information other people have said to make money. Like, like you're not helping people, you're just stealing other people's viewers and misleading people. It doesn't make sense to me. You know, if, if someone else was capable of actually interpreting the research or the information and, and truly wanted to help people, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be 
spending three hours a day writing scripts, spending an hour a day filming, doing videos every day over a thousand now. It, I, it's, it's for helping other people. And if I felt as if I didn't have to do it, I wouldn't do it. I, I mean, to say that I'm upset and discouraged is a bit of an understatement, but you know, there's other factors too. You know, I don't want to talk about nutrition because I'm devastated from having my work stolen. I can't talk about fitness because there's a bunch of shills that don't want me in the fitness space. I can't talk about current news and events because I tell the truth and get censored even further. I don't even want to make a day of eating now because someone's going to pop out of the woodwork and start a steak and potatoes diet. Uh, don't, don't be surprised when someone does that. You know, what's the point? You know, uh, this is probably what these people want, but hopefully by sharing this, you know, when you guys see comment sections or maybe, you know, the main reason is so, you know, you guys can hopefully share this on social media and maybe another influencer will rise up and, and take this quack out of business. You know, just like the global elites plan to take over the entire planet, you know, all of the less significant aspects are taken over as well. You know, these dietary spaces. You know, I've never really been able to sell products on Amazon. All the small businesses are being destroyed. You know, celebrities and actors are taking over YouTube and streaming platforms like Twitch TV. You know, they're all secret society members. They're all in the club. They're all global elite. They're keeping everything to themselves. These people are not special. They're not more intelligent than you or me. They're a bunch of selfish, greedy degenerates that keep all the secrets and money to themselves. And they still think they're better than you or me. You know, I, th I thought after 50 fucking instances of plagiarism on Joe Rogan, he might keep his goddamn mouth shut. But the second he watched that video, he called up Tucker Goodrich. It's unfucking, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. <laughs> Thank you.